The original idea actually happened when I met one of the top researchers from the Cubanian Neuroscience Institute, um, Pedro Valdez Sosa. I met him at a, a meeting in Los Angeles, at a mathematical institute, where we both had talks, to, uh, lectures to give. And then he asked me actually, so what do you, he heard that we get this new imaging center, and he asked me, so what are you doing with your old scanner? And then I just said in my style, you want to have it. Cuba has an amazingly high, highly talented brain researchers, but they do not are not able to do brain imaging themselves because they have no MRI scanner for research. It's zero. These groups have fantastically brilliant brains already spread all over the world. For example, in, 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 in MEG research and fMRI research, MRI research, many of them left the country and, and, and live at least part time. Uh, uh, in, in other brain institutes, so they learned there how to how to analyze and acqui acquire the data, and actually they are one of the leading groups to analyze brain data. That Masters University donates the scanner to Cuba is, I think, um, um, a, very, a very nice move from the university, which uh, shows that they are also interested in in helping others to kind of benefit from from a research uh, uh, infrastructure, like, like having the possibility now to boost brain research in a country which cannot afford such a machine themselves. This is uh, really only one, but a substantial change for the Cubanian brain research and neuroscience. This will start and strengthen uh, our existing relationship that we start a real collaboration now on brain research. And uh, of course it allows us also to visit Cuba more often and to collaborate with them.